Hi friends, good morning. Friends, I will show you the instruments which are used for nasal surgery like the septoplasty and some because the section of the nasal septum and in functional endoscopic sinus surgery. So these are the instruments which are required for this to uh, this nasal surgeries. So most commonly performed surgery I told you is SMR, some because the section of the nasal septum and uh, the uh, your septoplasty surgery and uh, any pathology in the nasal cavity like this polyps or the patient is having sinusitis for that we perform the uh, functional endoscopic sinus surgery. So well, let us talk about for the SMR surgery, this uh, septal surgery, septoplasty. So these are the two types of you can see retractors. This is long bladed nasal speculum and you can see this self-retaining long bladed this is uh, with lock. So when we are opening we can again screw this and it will come here and then that will keep the retractor open like this okay so it will keep the open so we will have to hold it like this it will go in the nasal cavity and widen the nasal cavity and then we go or it can be applied uh, during the SMR surgery also so the both flaps and perichondial flap because of perichondial flap they can be kept separated each other and this is the squeeze it will not allow so these type of retractors, they are called Killians and this is called St. Clair Thompson nasal retractor, long blade. And then this is the thoracic nasal speculum. So it used to be hold like this. You can see the uh, this index finger and between the little and the ring or ring, ring finger that will put pressure like this. And this part definitely will go into the nasal cavity. And slowly we should release so it will widen the nasal cavity and we can examine and we can perform uh, even small surgery also for with this. So this is Killian's different sizes. Killian's self retaining and this is St. Clair Thompson. Now we will use the, the instruments for removing the pathology that can be in the form of uh, uh, polyps or it can be little other lesions of the on the little wall of the nasal cavity. So this is the luck for chip. You can see these different sizes of little this like forceps and you can see these both the jaws they open together so it is screw type uh, forceps and you can see the finestra on both the sides they are the same size finestra so when we are removing the polyp what will happen if you are holding the polyp so that polyp's uh, mass it will uh, emerge from this uh, two finestry and that will apply so that properly we can remove the uh, polyp so these are the different sizes you can see this is the largest size and uh, this is the smallest size you can see so this finestra that is the characteristic feature and this is joint screw type then the other very commonly used forceps that uh, is during the functional endoscopic sinus surgery is the backstay forceps so in backstay forceps you can see this is alligator type and in this again you can see the finestra so black acid forceps they will have finestra. So these the different sizes of this forceps they are there. So depending on the pathology, we can uh, select the size of the forceps. Again, you can see finestra, and this is again another, another and this same forceps. And these are the upturned, upturned black acid forceps. Again, you can see these are the upward, upward uh, directing, and you can see the finestra, small finestra. So all these two types they are up, apart and this is again straight and then there is another forceps that we use for this purpose that is the Takashi forceps. In Takashi forceps you can see there is no finestra. So that is the main difference. And you can see that it will cut the tissue. So it will come in this and will cut. Okay, so this is Takashi and this is a black acid forceps. Then there are another forceps that are used for dressing or performing the anti-nasal packing after the surgery. Then we can use for this, you can see. This serrated edges you can see in this. And screw type box is there. And this is another type of this, uh, your dressing forceps with the help of this also we can, it's, they can be used for ear, ear dressing as well as the anti-nasal uh, packing. Both we can use. And in some cases, if they allow, we can use the even remove the foreign body also with the help of these forceps. Then this is again alligator type of crocodile type of uh, forceps, but it is Caesar you can see. 
So we used to uh, cut uh, any uh, mucosa part of the mucosa and nasal cavity. Then we can use this. Thank you. This is Carison punch. This instrument is used in case uh, when we are performing the face surgery. Specifically, this is very important when we are performing uh, endoscopic dactylocystis rhinostomy. So in that it is very important. So it, you can see this is downward punch. This punch size is down, and uh, this is upward cutting. You can see this. So this is Carison bone punch to for removing the bone. This is Belanger swivel knife. So you can see this instrument at the tip. You can see this blade is there. Okay. So this instrument is used in cases of SMR. So after elevating the mucoperitoneal flap both from both the sides, with the help of this instrument, we can cut the septal cartilage. So when we are cutting the septal cartilage, this instrument will go like this, and then little downward if you we will go, then it will rotate. And again, then we are coming back. It will be like this. So in the, with this this motion, we can remove the septal cartilage. So this is Belanger swivel knife. You can see this sharp instrument. There is rotating. There is what is called swivel. Rotating. Then this is another uh, gauze I showed you. So this is another typical type of gauze. You can see this V-shape notch is there in the gauze, and this is Killian's gauze. And this is quite helpful in cases of uh, uh, during this uh, septal surgery of the nose. And these two is forceps. They are used for the nasal bone uh, fracture and the septal fracture. So this is the Walsham's forceps, and this is used for the nasal bone fracture. So this end will remain outside, and this will go inside. And after holding the uh, nasal bone, we can disinfect and then we can reduce and can bring it in the, in the position. And similarly, this is Ashish forceps, and this is used for septal uh, fracture of the nasal septum. So again, you can see this gap is there between these two uh, shelves. So this gap will not allow the cartilage to crush. So some gap will remain there. If it completely closes, then chances of crushing the septum is there. There. This is instrument is tocar and cannula liquids tocar and cannula, and with this instrument we can perform the entrum puncture. So the, you can see this is the cannula, and this is tocar. So you can see this tocar is longer than this outer cannula. So it's very sharp. So with the help of this, we will hold it like this, and we make an opening in the inferior meters of the lateral valve of the nasal cavity. So once we perforate it, we will enter into the maxillary antrum, and then with the help of Higgins syringe, we can either wash and we can suck it also if there is some pooling material. And that pooling material we can send to the laboratory for the examination. So this is very uh, useful instrument, and formerly it was used very frequently, but after the advent of this functional endoscopic sinus surgery, its indications they are now limited. But still, in some cases, we need to perform the what is it? And it is sometimes called enteral wash and enteral lavage, so that we can perform. So this is the tocar, and this is the liquid tocar and cannula.